Hello and welcome to our 80s life, I'm Abby. And today in my 80s kitchen, we're going to be trying out this little gadget as seen on TV in 1980, Le Canapé for better looking hors d'oeuvres. So this is the Le Canapé Maker. It was as seen on TV in the 80s. I found this at an antique store. Let's take a look and see what's inside. The little instruction booklet says that it was made in 1980. So inside we have four of these plungers in different shapes. There's a hexagon, a square, oval, and circle. And if we do this right, we're supposed to be able to cut the bread with this thing and the different meats and stuff. And then use the plunger to poke them out and they should come out looking something like this. It seems simple enough to use, but what should we put inside of our tiny sandwiches? Well, Le Canapé came with a recipe book, and I looked through here and read the recipes, but I didn't quite find any that sounded really great, so I turned to another book. This is Pillsbury Spring Celebration. It was from 1983, and this is one of those books that you would find like by the checkout at the grocery store. My mom used to buy these, and I found this in some of her old things. It actually had some pretty cool recipes in it, and inside was a whole section on how to make party sandwiches. So we're gonna use their recipe for creamy pimento spread and make some homemade cheese spread. We'll need half a cup of shredded sharp cheddar cheese, eight ounces of softened cream cheese, an eighth of a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, two tablespoons of milk, and two tablespoons of this, diced pimentos. Let's get started. We are ready to start assembling our sandwiches. I'm gonna start with the little circle one and we're gonna just do the basics, ham and cheese. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna cut a circle into the tube. That's pretty cool. So far, so good. All right, so we've got our bread. Let's do some ham. Gonna cut that, oops. They're not that sharp, so the cutting part isn't cutting very well. But it's in there. Okay, now let's do some cheese. Aha, very good. Now, since this is very thin, I'm gonna do a second piece of ham and a second piece of cheese. So we'll do kind of layers. Maybe if I pull this up, oh yeah, that works better. Pull the piece of meat like that out of there and it's, oops, left behind like a little cookie cutter. And some more cheese. And of course, another piece of bread. I think this probably works best if you have really fresh bread. Okay. All right, it's the moment of truth. It's our first attempt at Le Canapé. So we're just gonna push this little plunger and out pops our sandwich. Whoops. <laughs> oh, it's so tiny, you guys. Look how cute that is. But it doesn't really wanna stay together very well. So I think I'm gonna add some toothpicks. And of course, I gotta be fancy. So I got these fancy toothpicks and the one in the picture had an olive. So I'm going to put an olive just to be extra fancy. And then I'm gonna 
poke this into our sandwich. There we go. Our first canapé. Okay, let's try making one with our cheese spread. I'm gonna use the oval. So far the oval one is my favorite because it's just a little bit bigger than the other ones. So I'm gonna do the bread and then leave a little space and put some of our pimento cheese spread. Yummy. I put that in the refrigerator for a little bit and just let it chill. And then let's make it extra cheesy. Let's put a little bit of cheese in with that. Then a bit more of our pimento cheese spread and some bread. Now watch this, you guys. I'm gonna get extra fancy on ya. I'm gonna put a cherry tomato. Onto our toothpick. And then, see how we can do here. I'm gonna put the toothpick in. Eject the sandwich. <laughs> Look at that, and we're gonna slide it down a little bit. Okay, look how cute that is. And I'm sure it's also going to be delicious. So my assessment of this product is overall, it's a fun little thing, and I think I could get faster at it um, with some practice, it's a little tedious, and uh, also it ends up kind of being a little wasteful because you have a bunch of random bread that looks like this. <laughs> but it was fun. I don't remember ever seeing a commercial on TV for La Canapé, even though it says here on the thing, as seen on TV. You guys let me know in the comments, did you ever see commercials for this? Because I do not remember them. But if I were to make a commercial for this in the 80s, I think it would go something like this. Are you tired of boring hors d'oeuvres? If so, we have the answer for you. Introducing Le Canapé for better looking hors d'oeuvres. When my guy comes home from a long day of riding his motorcycle, he's hungry. So I just whip up a batch of Le Canapé baby sandwiches. Here you go, babe. Awesome. Mm. That really hit the spot. 